families facing homelessness are being turned away from on-site services at Haven House and instead are being placed in hotel rooms due to a staffing shortage. It's our top story today at 5. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. Haven House in East Lansing typically provides on-site shelter services and other offers other places for families to stay. But a lack of workers is forcing the organization to only place families off-site. Our McCoy Scribner is here for you now and shows us what it means for the emergency shelter and for those in need. McCoy? Sherry, officials for the organization tell me they're required to have to have staff while families are on site, but the lack of workers means empty beds. And one community advocate tells me he wants to use those beds and get people out of the cold. Mike Carl works to battle homelessness in the greater Lansing area. I was contacted by a couple of families that are staying with Haven House, um, and they said they were staying in hotels. And he says he wants to help. Can we come up with some kind of a compromise to get these families that are on the street into these empty beds? And I'm more than willing to help myself. Officials with Haven House say people still receive a full range of services, both on and off site. Because of a critical staffing shortage among our frontline workers, um, and we are required um, by our funders and other regulations to have staff here when families are on site, um, we are unable to offer the on site shelter at this point. So we are ensuring that we continue to maintain our capacity to serve seven families through that off site hotel partner model. Regardless, Carl says something needs to be done. We're all in one struggle or another. And I understand that, that it's hard. Life is hard out there, but we have families that are out in the cold and we need to get them into those beds. Officials at Haven House say while they search for staff, they plan to use the time to make improvements. When families are off site, we're going through, you know, regularly scheduled maintenance, preventative maintenance. Um, the last time we had an extended time of families off-site, we did a major renovation um, to all of our bathrooms and living spaces, um, something that could not be done with families on-site. Now Haven House is looking for both a full-time and part-time shelter coordinator. They hope to have them hired and trained in just a few weeks. Sherry, back to you. McCoy, thank you. We learned today that Memphis